Susan Kennard and uh, as I'm preparing for tomorrow I had this feeling that I wanted to share something with you so uh, here I am so I want to share a manifesting tip I've been doing for a long time and I've been teaching uh, to my clients for a long time and uh, I just wanted to share it with you there are a lot of people that are feeling overwhelmed at the moment and uh, there are a lot of people that are feeling that they are finding it hard to uh, co-create, I suppose we could say, with the universe, and that there's too many things going on. And I know that I'm not an astrologer, but I know that, you know, we've just had a new moon, we've, we've gone Venus retrograde, there's lots and lots of stuff going on in the universe. So um, this is one of the things that I was guided to share with you. So I call it my manifesting list. And essentially, I'm gonna show it to you. So, so basically, I printed one out for you, okay? that I've written manifesting list and on one side of the paper there's the paper there's the word universe okay so essentially what you're doing is you're splitting a piece of paper into two and uh, you're writing at the top manifesting list and we set the intention so when I do this with with my my students and my clients I think better is coming to us now yeah? so we set that intention and on the me side, we put a couple of things that we feel we can achieve ourselves. So you can either do this on a daily basis, a monthly basis, a yearly basis, whatever you, whatever you, you feel drawn to do. But essentially what we're doing is we are writing down a couple of things. Now those couple of things could just be making a phone call to someone, uh, you know, cleaning the bathroom, it can be absolutely anything. So essentially what we're doing is we are putting down two or three things that we know we have the ability to achieve, okay? And then on the universe list, we are putting down all of the things, like it could be anything, it could be, you know, find a venue to work in, it could be pay a mortgage or anything, you know, move house, whatever you want, get a new job, it could be anything. But be really specific, it could be a relationship. Be really specific, okay? So be really specific from the perspective that literally you are writing down all the things that you just have no idea how are gonna work, how, how they're gonna work, how you're going to be able to deal with it or even achieve it. So you write those all down. So for those of you just joining, You've got your universe list here that I've created and made, and it's part of what I use uh, in training programs. So it's a, just a little extra that I throw in that works really well. So um, watch what happens when you put a few things that you can achieve and all the things that you feel you have no idea how they're gonna achieve on the other side. So essentially what happens is you're letting go of you know, getting them on paper and you're getting them out to the universe what you really want to achieve or create. And even though you have no idea how they're gonna happen, the fact that you'll literally send them out to the universe and you are literally saying, I have no idea how this is gonna happen but I'm handing it over, is you're essentially handing it over to your guides, God, whatever you wanna call it, source energy, creator, and you're handing it over. So then you let it go. So it's no longer held within you as I have no idea how I'm gonna achieve that, no idea how I'm gonna get there, no idea how I'm gonna make this business a success, I feel drawn to say um, for some people watching. And so uh, you just hand it over and watch what happens. It's really exciting because uh, essentially what you're doing is you're just chilling and you're relaxing and you're handing this information over and you're trusting. And I think I think the, the crucial thing about this is about oh, what my guides are saying as I'm talking about it now and they're coming in, is that it's about trusting the universe. You know, and I've I've this this week and last week I'm buying I'm buying a new home and uh, I um I've had to really thank goodness I have this uh, awareness and I have my guides with me because all the things that happen when in the process of selling, well, selling was quite easy actually, but buying a new home and the right home for you, you have to hand it all over. So one of the things that I did was I literally 
set the intention. I, I could make the phone calls to uh, the estate agents and the solicitors, etc. But I handed over how this was all going to happen. And I found a house that is empty. So literally there's no chain on either side. So this could happen within eight weeks. So I could be in my new home within eight weeks. So, so literally you just have to hand it over and trust. And the first house that I put down um, uh, thoughts that I wanted actually didn't happen. And that's when I went, oh, okay. So there must be one better for me. You know, this is how we have to think. So there must be a better thing out for there for me. And within two days, there was. So, you know, we, we, we have to just trust and hand it over. So um, anyone want to say anything about that? And I can answer it. I've got um, a client in an hour, so I've got plenty of time. So let me have a look. Uh, uh, I think that was for me, mate. Simon. Oh, brilliant. Simon, was it? Brilliant. Well, um... I don't want loads and loads of people emailing me, but if you really, really desperately want a copy of this, then I will send it to you. So um, do, do do that, but I, I'm, I'm not going to send it to the whole of everybody. It's very easy to make. You just get a piece of paper and write that on the top and put me on one side and the universe on, on the rest. Um, and I was even thinking about making these laminated so that, you know, you could actually wipe it off and, and write it on again. Okay, so I'm just having a look. Oh, um, hi Colette. Hi Lily. Hi. It's nice to see you on here. Oh, there's lots of people. Vanessa, Simon, Charles. Loads of people. I'm just seeing if anybody wants. Does anybody want to? Um, oh, Fiona. Is that you watching all the way to the other side of the world? In Abu Dhabi. Wow. Hi Fiona. Uh, new business develop and I know it's on the cards but generally I'm uncertain about how it can unfold yeah okay so this Simon this would be brilliant for you because you you're just literally saying well look I have no idea how that's going to happen and I just hand it over all right uh, let me know what happens won't you let me know what happens definitely uh, anybody else want to share what they feel overwhelmed with and I'll see what my guides have to say uh, so let me have a tune in for you, Simon. Hold on. So I'm hearing uh, from my guides that you need to dot the I's and cross the T's. So whatever you're reading um, or, or putting together, uh, I feel you need to really, really cross the T's and dot the I's. It's something we say, don't we, in England? So yeah, definitely look at look at fine print. Feel. Yeah, that might be really helpful for you just to read over again. It's definitely something I'll be doing when I start to sign contract, contracts with this house, is I'll be reading it again and again and bringing my guides in uh, to check it for me as well. Okay, anybody else want to say anything about what they're trying to manifest at the moment? And I will tune in for them. Okay. Anybody else? Lily, what are you up to at the moment? Oh, good health. Who's that? Good health. Oh, Lily. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm drawn to, as, as I connect with you, um, what they're showing me, what the guides are showing me is my wrists, actually. So I'm feeling like I've got um, a tightness or a stiffness in my wrists. And what they're telling me as well for you is... Uh, Something, something that you feel you can't hold on to. So I'm feeling like um, you're sort of almost trying to hold on to something and it's proving to be really difficult for you and I think this is coming out in your health. So the feeling that you can't hold on to something and, and that might mean that maybe it's time uh, for you to uh, let go of it. Uh, maybe do that on the manifesting list, you know, put down whatever that might be and then what you can achieve from it. Might be to meditate a bit more and just sit quietly and listen to your guides. I mean, if, if you, anyone on here 
wants to join my um, YouTube channel, it's Susan Kennard, and there will be a new one actually, there is a new one, which I haven't launched yet, which is called Singing From The Light, and it's going to be a YouTube channel specifically where my guides will actually do healing through light language and uh, through toning, so there's going to be lots of cellular healing going on. So if anyone's uh, really interested in that and, and wants to join my YouTube channel, I will then share the new Singing From The Light one as well. So, okay, Vicky, oh, Lily, that's great. Vicky, uh, okay, I'm currently setting up a new business and really struggling. Wow, all these new businesses, amazing. Struggling mentally with the extra workload. Mm. So that would be, um, yeah, okay, thanks. So my guides are telling me about that, Vicky. So um, what I'm hearing, <clears throat> yeah, so what I'm hearing, I'm clearing my throat actually for you, Vicky, and it's the feeling I get is that um, you're trying to, yeah, okay, you're trying to please too many people. And with that, uh, you're forgetting about the crucial, specific things that are really important. So the universe list will be really good for that, manifesting list. Uh, so you can hand over those things onto the universe and just the things that you need. But I'm really feeling that you're trying to please too many people. And what I'm hearing here is um, uh, it's almost like you're spread too thin. So that that's, a, you know, spreading yourself too thinly uh, and trying to please other people. So um, I really help, hope that helps you. Okay. Virginia, hello. <laughs> Uh, go back and watch it, you know, if you want to catch, but I'm just going to quickly flash this up for you. It's uh, the universe list and it's about manifesting and uh, you put me on one side and universe on the rest and hand it over. But watch this again. Uh, Heather, hi. Hi, nice to see you on here. Uh, so there's lots of people coming on now. Uh, so you go back and, and listen to it from the beginning and I'll talk to you about how to, how to create, a, create a manifesting list. Uh, so I'm just tuning in with my guides here. Thank you, that's all right. Oh, Vicky, good. I'm glad that really helped you. And if anybody wants, I don't do this very often, but occasionally I do when I'm doing lives, I my guides will say to me, you can actually offer readings to people. Like, so if anyone wants to do, wants to have a reading with me, I, I do special offers because I don't do readings very often. They just come into my trauma healing work where my guides work and they help people clear the, the, the trauma and the interruptions in light. But they're guiding me to say that if anyone wants a mission reading or a, um, okay, thanks, a, a reading of, you know, whatever might be happening in their life at the moment, just contact me. I'm going to do them for £45 and, and you know, I charge a lot more for, for that, for doing healing and trauma healing. But for just a reading, I um, charge £45 um, and it's recorded on Zoom. So just go, just private message me or find me on susankennard.co.uk. Anyway, oh, hi from Norway, okay. Oh, Heather's on the beach, wow. It's not so sunny today though, Heather, where we are. It's not so sunny, it's it's warm, but it's not so sunny. Uh, okay, anybody else? I'm just gonna have a listen to my guides and see what they're saying. Mm. Yeah, so, so the thing that, that I'm hearing here uh, is that uh, we have to remember that we are creator beings and uh, that we are co-creating from the universe. So if you imagine that you are this being of light and this being of light is uh, essentially just energy and we're putting that energy out to the universe and what we get back is a reflection of the vibration that we're holding. Now that doesn't mean that if really awful things happen to you, you're an awful person. It just means that there's something in your vibration, in your energetic field, that is showing you something. Um, and that's really important, you know, it, we never get it done. So, you know, I, I've been doing this work for sort of over 25 years, you know, you never ever get it done. It, it is it's something that we are a work in progress. Oh, Alessandra's on here, hi Alessandra. Um, sorry, I missed your call. Uh, I've just been sharing something that I'm going to share with you guys tomorrow on Sparkle to Success uh, in our week two, and that is the manifesting list. I'm going to flash it up. Woo. I'm going to share it with you guys tomorrow. Um, I'm going to send it to you on email and uh, share it with you tomorrow, and we'll actually do some work on it tomorrow. 
in our week two of our eight week Sparkle to Success uh, classes where, where essentially uh, we're all helping each other to heal trauma. So I'm guiding and being guided by my guides to share my processes. Anyway, I um, hope you're okay. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so anybody else want me to tune in for them with my guides? And I'm very happy to do so. Um, Alessandra's just become an auntie again. So she's got a new baby that's her sister's. So that's really exciting for all of us <laughs> on the group. <laughs> Uh, so anybody else want to share anything that they are going through at the moment and they would like a little bit of guidance with because I'm really happy to do that now the guides are right here so uh, ready to sort of give any guidance that that might be needed okay just asking if there's anything else they want yeah okay all right yeah so what they're saying to me is they want everybody to remain very grounded at the moment because uh, the energies are, you know, really heightened. They're, they're really challenging at the moment for some people. And we have to remember that we're a creator being. Remember that we, this is all an illusion anyway, and that's another story. But we're just having fun. We're co-creating, we're manifesting. And it's time for us to really stay grounded in this human experience. I will give you something, Torga, and hold on a minute. Absolutely, hold on a moment. Yes, okay. So the same to me is another person uh, that, that pleases people and uh, wants to uh, share their love. So I feel like you want to share your love really broadly and openly. However, you need to really think about, okay, thanks, yeah, this is, what, this is, this is something for you, but for everyone else as well. It is very much about thinking about what you're doing and is it loving you okay so the question you need to ask whenever you do anything for anybody or you're asked to do anything is this for my highest and best good and is this a place that I feel that I'm loving myself okay and so that's really important for you uh, that's really coming through very loud and clear for you is that is this something that is for my highest and best good okay I'm sure there'll be a video at some point that I'll teach uh, how to check to see it's one of the things I teach on sparkle um, is that how to check whether something within your field is the right thing for you okay so Simon if I say SSP what's that do you get anything all oh, right okay you want me to tune in about it okay I don't know, but uh, I knew you have free will with this, but what I'm getting with it is suspect. <laughs> and that's just the word that I'm being given. So SSP to me, the first thing that I get and I'm hearing is suspect or suspicious. So just go with that and see, uh, let me know what you mean, what you think about that. It's just a feeling of there might be something hidden. Thank you, that's it. They're telling me that there might be something hidden with this that you haven't seen yet. Okay. Okay. Oh, good. That made sense to you, Torgan. That's really good. Excellent. Yeah, feel free to message me if you want to. Oh, guy. Hello. Hi. You missed the um, bit about manifesting, um, but just go back and, and watch it again. But we're doing this uh, manifesting universe list. Can you see? Just want to show everyone where you write your name on one side and uh, the universe on the other side. Oh, Simon, that makes sense to you, does it? Yeah, something that's not you not being shown yet mm. or something that's suspicious, uh, you need to look at. Yeah, that's it. Um, I'm not an advocate of, you know, doom and gloom and fear and everything like that, but it's once again about that small print they're showing me. So it feels like it's, it feels like it's um, read the small print and cross the T's and dot the I's. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh so if anyone wants uh, me to uh, tune in for them, uh, my guides are here, ready and waiting. And I don't often do this, but uh, they've said to me to offer readings to people uh, for £45. So if somebody wants an, a reading that's recorded uh, for them, then just contact me on Susan Kennard 
www.co.uk or on here on Facebook is brilliant or Twitter or LinkedIn actually okay to be sure rather than be negative sort of yeah yeah yeah, yeah absolutely just to be specific really isn't it it's about um, you know we live in this 3d world but essentially we are fifth dimensional beings and uh, we you know, we're living in this 3D world. We have to pay mortgages. We have to go and do school runs. I'm thinking of me here. We have to um, use computers. We have to eat. We have to do all of that. And so, unless we're a breatharian. And then, and so, we also have to remember we're, we're a fifth dimensional being as well. You know, we are a creator being. So, we are this pure light. But we're still living in the real world. We're still living in the 3D world. So, uh, we, we're not living in spirit. So we have to experience this emotion here that uh, we are meant to experience emotion. We're meant to see what it's all about in the world. All right. OK. Right. Well, I'm going to go now. So I'm preparing uh, to work with a couple of clients. Uh, so lovely to see you all. Much love to you all. And uh, reach out. OK. And join my YouTube channel because I'm um, just my name, Susan Kennard. I'd love to have you. OK. Much love. Bye.